good evening. You're watching The Logical Indian. I'm Navya Singh and I'm tracking the most important news that deserve your attention today. Before I begin with the major headlines of the day, let me quickly take you through the current COVID-19 figures in the country. States in India added at least 11,000 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours for the third straight day. Maharashtra continues to be the worst affected state with at least 3,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. Other states like Tamil Nadu and Delhi also witnessed an explosion of COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. With these numbers, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the country now stand at 3,32,424. At least 307 people in India succumbed to COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, taking the death toll in the country to 9,520. Two Indian High Commission officials posted in Pakistan's Islamabad went missing today morning at 8 a.m. The two officials were posted as CISF drivers and were out on duty. However, they never reached their destination. Some media reports claim that the two officials are under the custody of the Pakistan Inter-Services Intelligence, that is the Pakistan ISI. However, no official confirmation has come out so far. This matter has been taken up by the Indian High Commission in Pakistan with the local authorities in Pakistan and the Indian Ministry of External Affairs has also raised the matter with the Pakistan government. Now, this incident, ladies and gentlemen, comes days after Indian High Commission official Gaurav Alawalia was chased by bike-borne unidentified men in Islamabad on 4th of June. A few days ago, some Pakistan officials, about two of them, were deported and sent back to Islamabad on charges of spying and trying to get access to some classified information in India's national capital. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today said that any conflict between India and Nepal will be resolved through dialogue. He said that the two nations share an extremely close bond and that any power in the world cannot break it. These statements come two days after the Nepalese parliament passed an amendment to include the new political map in its constitution. Now, this political map, ladies and gentlemen, has been a bone of contention between the two countries. This map includes some key strategic areas that lie along the border with India that India claims to have control over. Nepalese Prime Minister K.P. Sharma, however, believes that those areas belong to Nepal and has vowed to reclaim them from India. The Chinese government on Monday closed off 10 neighbourhoods in Beijing in an attempt to restrict the outbreak of a second wave of COVID-19 infection which has been linked to a food market this time. The officials from China have said that new cases were reported from a wholesale market after which the schools around that area have been shut down and people living in and around those areas have been placed under lockdown. Ending the news segment with some good news, this time from Madhya Pradesh, a Muslim mechanic from Mansoor in Madhya Pradesh has come up with this really innovative technique of ringing bells at temples without actually touching them amid the COVID-19 scare. Nehru Khan, who is the mechanic in Mansoor, has installed sensors inside temple bells in Mansoor's Pashupatinath temple, which get activated when a devotee's hand is about a foot and a half away from the temple bell. Nehru Khan says that we often hear the sound of azans, and he thought that we should also hear the sound of clanging of temple bells. And that's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.